What's up guys? Chris's Creative Warehouse here. Today we're going to be reviewing Ray's lightsaber. Alrighty, so this is everything that comes with the lightsaber. So we'll go ahead and start with the lightsaber and then we'll go ahead and review the little accessories. Alrighty guys, this is it, Ray's lightsaber. This thing is pretty awesome and it's packed full of details. These little rubber parts right here, in the actual movie when they were making it, they just cobbled this together. And these were actually windshield wiper blades, so the blades for a windshield wiper. And this was actually the piece that would hold a flash, so like the flash disc would sit on top of there, and then they just constructed it. So they did a really good job replicating that and making it look like the original thing. Now back here in the back, this is the battery compartment, so this just unscrews just like that to reveal the battery compartment, and the speaker is also attached to the batteries. And then we got the ignition switch right here, we can come up here, and there's actually got a couple of buttons. This red one right here doesn't do anything, but this one actually does something pretty cool that I'll show you in a second. So yeah, overall thought of the hilt looks really awesome. Full metal has a really nice weight to it, and it's very, very balanced. And now guys for the ignition. Now that's what this little piano thing is here for, is you just push up on this and boom, lights up. It's got really pretty noises. It swings around when you do that and then when you clash it, it'll go. Right? Now, here's something really sad about the lightsaber. It has a little defect. Now don't worry, I'm going to tell you in another video how I modified this to fix it. But um, yeah, I'll link that at the end of the video or in the description or something like that so you guys don't want to miss that. But here's the problem. The switch, it does that. See how it's like just reigniting like that? And I don't want it to do that? But that's okay, because I know how to fix it. And here's the problem why it's doing it. This little thingy right here, this is the, um, just some sort of accessory is um, attached right here with this little pop rivet. And that's all it's there for, is to hold on this. It's not really structurally supporting, I'm gonna turn it off. It's not really structurally supporting the switch. So what's happening is these little thingies right here are bowing like that, see? So that's the way the switch can actually wiggle around inside of its housing. And when it does that, it thinks, oh, it's turning it back on again. It's turning it back on again. And so it keeps on getting turned on. But yeah, ignition, pretty awesome. It's a really pretty blue. It's got a curved tip right here, um, better than a point that I've seen in some. And this is a plastic, it's not glass. So you can hit it around and it won't really, it won't really break. Now to the blade hilt setup. This is probably my favorite part of the entire lightsaber. Check this out. This is the first of its kind that I know that isn't an Ultra Saber or um, the other lightsaber company that I can't remember right now. But this little part right here unscrews just like this and you remove that off the thing. This is what the little button I was telling you for earlier. You push down on it, you twist. What? What? The lightsaber blade comes off so you can just have the hilt by itself. You could take this little piece, put it right back on there. I can't really do it with one hand too well, but oh, look at that, I did it. Put it back on there, add that nice detail, and boom, you've got a pretty sweet looking lightsaber. I'll show it up to you up a little more close. You can see the nice, fine awesomeness. This actually comes with a belt clip. I was pretty surprised. I'm like, wow, that's pretty cool they included that. It um, looks pretty Star Wars-y. I like the look of it. This is the little clip. You can clip that onto your belt or to your um, just the side of your pants. And then this is where you actually hook onto the lightsaber. Now here's just the hilt. Um, you take the little ring on the bottom of it, push down on this little thingy right here. It opens up the channel and you can slide in your um, lightsaber. And you, it'll just hang from your belt and it looks really cool. You look like a real Jedi. And um, what's really cool about the button is when you want to take it off, you just push the button and it comes right off. Um, as opposed to having to push down this little metal thing and take it off and it's like, eh. They made it really user friendly. So I really liked that and I thought that was pretty awesome. All right, here's the saber stand and the wall mount. We'll start with the saber stand for now. 
So it looks pretty cool. It comes disassembled, so you got to take the little plastic piece and you got to slide it in there, as well as put, put these pieces on right here. And the hilt sits really nicely inside of the stand. Um, this is if you just want to really display just the hilt. If you have the blade attached to it, it'll stay on there and it'll balance, but it is a little top heavy, so you don't really want to do that. If you want to display it with the blade, then you would use the wall mount. The wall mount's pretty cool. Um, it has the, the blade just sits right inside of here and the hilt sits right here. So this is what it looks like inside of my room, how I have it displayed. And then I actually have another hilt that I made myself of Kylo Ren that I put inside of the hilt stand. And um, yeah, so that's what that one looks like. I think it's pretty cool. It's a little DIY I made. But um, yeah, so the belt stand and the, the belt stand, the wall mount and the saber stand are pretty awesome. Yeah guys, Ray's lightsaber. I'm really pleased with it, other than the little ignition flaw, but you know, that's totally fixable. I'll make a video on how to fix it and then make it good as new. But yeah, I love this thing. Yeah, so let me know in the comments. Comment, like, subscribe, all the junk, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.